Eric, you be specific about when you met Rockefeller, how it happened in these discussions. I met Rockefeller through a female attorney I knew who called me up one day and said, uh, one of the Rockefellers would like to meet you. I made a video called Mad as Hell, and uh, he'd seen the video and wanted to meet me and knew I was running for governor of Nevada. So sure, I'd love to meet him. And I met him and I liked him, and uh, uh, he was a very, very smart man. And uh, we used to talk and share ideas and thoughts. And um, he's the one who told me uh, 11 months before 9-11 ever happened that there was going to be an event. Never told me what the event was going to be. But there was going to be an event. And at that event, uh, we would invade Afghanistan to run uh, pipelines from the Caspian Sea. We were going to invade Iraq. You know, to take over the oil fields, establish a base in the Middle East, and make it all part of the new world order. And we go after Chavez in Venezuela. And uh, sure enough, later 9/11 happened. And I remember he was telling me how <laughs> how you're gonna see soldiers looking in caves for people in, in uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan and all these places. And it's and there's gonna be this war on terror, uh, which is no real enemy. And the whole thing is a giant hoax, you know, but it's a way for the government to take over the American people. He told you it was going to be a hoax. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no question. He says, this, this, this is going to be war terror. And he's laughing. <laughs> Who are you fighting? I mean, why do you think 9-11 happened? And then nothing's happened since then. Do you think that our security is so great here that these people who pulled off 9-11 uh, can't knock down another plane? Come on, it's ridiculous. 9-11 was done by people in our own government and our own banking system to perpetuate the fear of the American people and to subordinate themselves to anything the government wants them to do. That's what it's about, and to create this, war, this endless war on terror. And, that's why we, and that was the first lie. And the next lie was going into Iraq, you know, uh, to uh, get Saddam Hussein out with his weapons of mass destruction. That was the next lie. Now, now specifically, this was a little over six years ago? This was... Uh, 11 months before 9-11. Yeah. And Nick Rockefeller, he's a lawyer, he is, he, he's become your friend over the previous years, and he's saying to you that there's going to be this big event, and then out of that we're going to have a war on terror, and it's just going to go on and on. Right. And Ellis wants it without, without any real enemy. Then you can never, so you can never define a winner. And, and uh, did he say that it's going to be perfect because you can't define an enemy? Just goes yeah, because you, you can't define a winner. There's no one who's going to beat, so it goes on and on forever. And they can do whatever they want. They scare the hell out of the American public. Look, this whole war on terror is a fraud. It's a farce. It's very difficult to say it out loud because people are intimidated against saying it. Because if you say it, they want to make you into a nutcase. Let's but, the truth, but the truth has to be, the truth has to come out. That's why I'm doing this interview. The fact of the matter happens to be that the whole war on terror is a fraud, it's a farce. Then here there's a war going on in Iraq, because we invaded Iraq. I <laughs> think they're fighting, you know. But the war on terror, that's a joke, you know. And until we discover what really happened on 9-11, and who was responsible for 9-11, that's where the war on terror emanates from. That's where it comes from. It was 9-11 that allowed this war on terror to begin. And until we get to the bottom root of 9-11, the truth of 9-11, we'll never know about the war on terror.